Hello, my name is Mobisha, and in this video, we will be demonstrating Cascade PID loop control. In the past, we have shared videos of single loop controllers where a process variable such as level of flow is kept at a set point using a control variable such as a variable frequency drive or a control valve. However, in Cascade PID loop control, there are two or more PID controllers where the output of the first loop, also called the master loop, drives the set point of a secondary loop, also called a slave loop. When can Cascade control be used? It can be used when there are two or more process variables and only one control variable is available. It can also be used when you have a process variable with relatively slow dynamics and another process variable with relatively fast dynamics. The process variable with relatively fast dynamics can detect changes in the process and causes the control variable to act. In this setup, we have a flow meter which will be the process variable for our master loop and a pressure transmitter which will be the process variable for our slave loop. Our control variable will be our variable frequency drive which controls a three-phase pump. We will cause a disturbance to this system by closing and opening this valve. The pressure transmitter would detect the change in pressure and cause the control variable to act. To begin this demonstration, we have two PID blocks, one for the master loop and one for the slave loop. An important step in configuring our cascade control is by going to the configurations tab and selecting cascade loop. You can select your cascade type as master or slave. On our HMI, we have displayed our process variables and their set points, and also the proportional integral gains for the master and slave loops. We can tune our PID from this HMI. I will now start the process by starting the VFD. Our master process variable is beginning to set it to its set point, and so is the slave process variable. Now that our process variables are set to their set points, we will now cause a disturbance in the system by closing the valve. Our slave loop was able to adjust to minimize the disturbance on the master loop. Now that our master process variable has once again set it to the set point, we will cause another disturbance in the system by opening the valve. The slave loop adjusted to the disturbance to minimize the effect on the master loop. The master process variable is now setting back to its set point. Cascade control is a very useful tool used in process industries. Good knowledge of this can be very helpful for control engineers. Thank you for watching.